Welcome back to some more DBD news. My name is Wolfie Owns, and we have a lot to talk about. This is where we talk about all of the special and new things coming to Dead by Daylight. So our first story today, we are going to be talking about the dev stream from last Thursday, and I am laughing a little bit because <laughs> I, I just gotta say, ooh, these devs, our devs are, they are, ooh. They are savage AF, like, I'm not even joking either. <laughs> so basically, a killer voiced his opinion, and the devs answered him, and, uh, well, I think I'm just gonna roll the clip and have you guys listen in, and we'll talk about it after. Uh, another question, playing killers uh, was fun a long time ago, but now it's only stressful, but well, that's an opinion a valid opinion but that's an opinion i used to love playing as a killer win or lose it was fun but currently no matter what it's just filled with stress and anger killers aren't feared anymore uh, do you have any plans or ideas how you would like to improve the killer imp experience well I, I would say maybe try survivor for a bit uh no, but it's true i mean change it up maybe you're just tired you know or play something else for a, a week try civilization or something just for a refreshing change <laughs> You heard it here, folks. Screw you, killers. <laughs> Go play something else. Go play Survivor. Go play a different game. <laughs> oh, I got, I got to Oh man, I, maybe I heard that wrong. I got. Let me listen to this like one more time, real quick. Play something else for a, a week. Try Civilization. <laughs> Oh, oh, my side. Oh, my God. Whew. Okay, well, you heard it here. Make sure you go and play something else because, uh, yeah, killers aren't scary. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to the next part in the dev stream. Uh, the next question was about the, the reward, the community reward, and we've been uh, hearing a lot of Hey, well, it's just for survivors when we get a reward for killers. Play something else. So, most of our players are playing both sides. Yeah. Um, I like to try to see the community as a player base and not killer versus survivors all the time. Yeah. Um, it's a game that has different, different yeah. ways to play, right? One side is completely different from the other. And I think it's very important to explore both of them in the game. And when we do make changes it's for the best of the whole player base there you go and not no, specifically true. killer or survivor mains yep. this is one thing that drives me crazy about some people in this game they always think it's one side versus the other it's always killers versus survivors survivors got a buff killers got a buff Wah! the other side win that's not what's about guys that's not what this game is about quit seeing it like that it's a community we all play this game Survivors get stuff, killers get stuff, that's how it is. And if you're a killer main and you're just not scary, then... something else. Also in the news, the devs talk about the cosmetic outfits, the skins from this event that we have destroyed, that we have demolished into a million pieces. Ten million pieces. But let's talk about the outfits real quick. Um, so the cosmetics are coming at the end yeah of the event they're not gonna well, be unlocked the until the event is wrapped yeah. up they're not gonna be unlocked at the moment the 10 million is breached. yes so that's a that's the first note second uh it is a shirt for fangman so if you don't have the uh dlc the spark of madness the spark DLC? Of, of madness uh it still will be unlocked if you buy it at a later date yeah it's so. gonna be part of her wardrobe from now on so basically, if you get this DLC later on after this event has finished, you will still get the outfit. The outfit will always be there. It is permanently unlocked for Ming Li, aka Feng Min, forever and ever and ever. And if you don't have the outfit right now, you will get it after the event ends. 
Also in the dev stream, we're going to be talking about the screenshot contest, the screenshot competition. We're going to have the devs talk about it first with you guys through this clip, and then we will talk about my feelings on it afterwards. Then, uh, we also have a screenshot contest event going on right now. Uh, the prices are pretty cool. There's details on the website, on the social media also. Uh, we have a lot of participation already. Yep. Uh, the contest is open until Sunday night. So you guys have to get to it. Which Sunday night? Who, who's Sunday 20... night? No, no, but I mean, is it uh, North oh, yeah. American, um, so Montreal it, it midnight? Is, it is Sunday night, midnight EST. Thank um, you. Thanks. <laughs> Uh, then what's gonna happen next is that we're gonna select 50 of you guys We're gonna put those 50 to a community vote To select 10 of them and out of the 10 we're gonna select the three winners There we go. That's how we're gonna do and we're gonna announce the winners on March 1 Woo! We have another contest here. This is gonna be awesome. It is the screenshot contest so basically if you get first or second place in this contest, you get a Golden Fang Min outfit. Extremely rare and extremely expensive. This is definitely an outfit you really, really want to get. Now, also, we are going to be announcing the winners of this contest in the next news video, so make sure you do keep an eye out for that as well. Moving on to the next part of the dev stream, we are going to be talking about rewards rewards in the yeah. ranking system will we get rewards for getting first place with the new emblem ranking system well guys i have the answer for you here so let's listen in now that there will be an emblem system will there be season rank rewards for hitting like rank one so that's a, a, a reoccurring uh question question uh there's probably there, there's no season rewards linked to the emblem system you would have seen it on the ptb if we were testing something like that but there are changes to the uh the progression and the the reward system so that's uh, that's going to be ex I'm being extremely vague on this because we're not ready to show anything right now but there's stuff coming to it to change the way you rank up so they are being extremely vague on this question. They do not want to answer anything or give any promises, but I am definitely looking forward to there being rewards to the ranking system. They might not do it soon, but I wish they would because I want I want there to be a reason to get rank 1, but I also want it to be harder. Right now, I'm very unmotivated to get to rank 1. I've been rank 1 many, 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 many times, and I just... I just don't have motivation to get to rank 1 because I'm not really getting anything from it other than really try hard players and uh, it's not that fun to play against really extremely hard try hard bring the best items in the world players and I just it, it's not that fun to me I, I want motivation I want some reward for it so I cannot wait for that to come. Moving on to the next part of the dev stream, we are going to be talking a little bit about lore. I know so many people really like lore. I'm a big lore nut myself, so we're going to be talking about some lore, mainly the entity. Hmm, let's listen in. Is it possible there is another entity out there, one that is good, that somehow helps the survivors in the dark entity's realm? It is an extremely interesting question uh, that made a lot of people go, hmm. And, uh, you know, I will not answer it, but I will talk about something that's slightly related. Uh, the works of Stephen King. If you're a fan of horror or just suspense, he's a f really fun author to go through. Uh, Dave and I are big fans, Ash also, and we keep talking about him. And his world is uh, rich because it is about contrast, it's about conflict. And to get conflict, you need to have both sides of the issue. So that's uh, that's my non-answer to that question. And just like any other lore question, we get no information. <laughs> 
but this is definitely a really good question. They are not going to answer it, of course. They don't want to give out any massive spoilers. Mostly the lore is something you have to figure out on your own. It's really it's really cool because I really am a big fan of lore stuff. I, I look into lore because I really like getting that story. And I know some of you guys are too, so make sure you keep asking those lore questions. Keep pushing to find out the truth. We need to know answers. Good job, people. Good job. Moving on to the next part of the dev stream, let's talk about the movie. Uh, have you ever considered releasing more animated shorts or comics to flesh out the survivors, killers, and the world? Well, we never released uh, animated shorts or comics, uh, but uh, we'd love to uh, be able to get some of that story out in any form uh, possible. Uh, if there's a Hollywood uh, big shot out there who would like to make a movie, just uh, give us a call. We'll be happy to take it. Uh, if TV show, uh, comic books, novels, theater, songs, <laughs> songs, whatever. Yep, we'll be happy to talk to us, artists. Guys, 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 we need to get this to happen. Contact every movie director that you can. We need to get a DVD movie, a Dead by Daylight movie. I would love, love to see a Dead by Daylight movie, a Dead by Daylight comic. Uh, I would, I would love just to have that. That'd be so freaking awesome. If a Dead by Daylight movie ever came out in the future, 2020 or whenever, I would be one of the first few in line. I would have tickets for that movie. I would be seeing that movie. I, oh man, I would see that movie so freaking fast. You guys wouldn't even believe it. Moving on to the next part of the dev stream, we're going to be talking about perks, perk changes, and balancing. Ooh. Uh, are you going to do a completely perk balance change? So underused perks get a buff and meta perk get a nerf. N probably never like that. There's never going to be an update where, well, I say never, but most likely there's not going to be an update where we say the top 20 perks have all been changed and buffed and the top 10 perks have all been nerfed. So everything is shuffled and everything is medium now. Uh, that's, that's probably never going to happen like that. However, we do want to rework some of the, uh, the lower usage perks. And the and top the ones, higher usage yeah. perks too. Well, I was saying, no. I'm not going <laughs> to say it, but you, you guys saw that we yeah. moved around a little bit with BT. Um, yeah. And, uh, and you all know what's, ne what's next on the list. So for those of you who do not know, borrow time was changed. It no longer protects you and the person you're saving. It only protects the person you're saving. Basically, it's a selfless perk where you give up yourself in order to save others. I actually really like this change. And they are going to be changing Decisive Strike, and I cannot wait for this. And I honestly, I think it deserves to be changed. That's my opinion. I'm going to get heat for it, I know. But that's fine. I play both sides. I play Survivor and Killer. I feel it deserve to it deserves to be changed. I don't use it as Survivor because I, I you don't really need it. You don't need it. But I do feel like this perk deserves to be changed and I cannot wait to see what the devs do to change it. But that is going to be it for the rest of the news today. That is all we have for today. I want to make this video for you guys to get the contest information out there, to get the decisive change out there. It's not here yet, but it's coming. I, I just want to get all this information out to you guys. And now I want to ask you guys, what are your thoughts and opinions on this stuff? I, I love hearing what you guys think. I love hearing your thoughts and opinions. I love reading them. So let me know down in the comments below, how do you feel about these changes? Are you happy about them? Do you dislike them? Are you excited? Do you want a movie? I mean, I'm pretty excited. I think that's going to be great. But I want to know what your guys' opinions and thoughts are on everything to come in Dead by Daylight. Stay tuned for 10 o'clock news tonight. Where will Dead by Daylight be in five years? Where do you see your game in five years? Five years is a long time. Uh, uh, and my <laughs> answer this morning was, if everything goes badly and we don't do as well as we thought, then most likely we'll just be bought by Disney. And if everything goes well, we will buy them instead. Uh, 